Uh, my name is Peter Elliott. I've lived in Port Hope my whole life except for seven years when I went to school in Toronto and, and worked for an architectural firm up there. Uh, came back to Port Hope in 1977 and bought my father's uh, insurance business, who was his father's insurance business. and. Uh, that was in 77, and then in 2010 I sold that to my son David, so he's the fourth generation in, in the office. Um, married to Diane, uh, formerly Lacey. Uh, we've got two kids, uh, David, who is, who is in Port Hope and, and enjoys it. My other son, uh, Chris, he's in, based in Edmonton. Oh, what else is there? I guess our family came to this area in the 1840s from England and a few of us are still here but for the most part uh, some moved out west and some are up north but Port Hope is still a drawing card for all of my cousins. Um, basically growing up in Port Hope was a, was a good thing. There was uh, a lot of sports which these two gentlemen have, are quite uh, good products of <laughs> and uh, there's things like Cubs, Scouts, um, just a general overall good place to uh, grow up and it's also an excellent place to raise a family. The, uh, the town's had issues from when we were young. Uh, Tim and, and Phil have gone through the, the, the stores, the commercial side of downtown. Uh, the downtown, when we were younger, the downtown was the, the heart, but uh, since then, commerce has changed with the internet, with malls, etc. And the downtown core has coped the best it can, and actually, I'm impressed with it at this time. It's clean, it's restored, it draws a lot of people from the city after hours on weekends, and they come down to frequent the antique stores. So. I think the downtown core is is doing well in this period of time. So that's uh, my thought on the downtown. Um, other than that, no, it's just a. It's There's been a lot of changes. Most of your business was done on Queen Street, right? Yes. Yeah. Pretty well. Yeah. On Queen uh, Street. It was from 1919 till 1980. It was on Seven Queen Street in a very small office, and then in 81 I bought uh, the old record building which is beside the town library and we've uh, and we've done about three extensions on it and uh, it's where we are now and it's a it's a good location we have the river behind us the library on one side and the town park on the other so we're we're somewhat fortunate to have that so through the years with the insurance business and and you being involved with the antique cars and things like that, you've seen a lot of changes in the town. Is there anything that stands out in your mind? Uh, it's a hard. That's a hard question because everything in general evolves. It's just a slow evolution of of events and and changes. Uh, as Phil says, we've had some major floods, which uh, was devastating. Uh, some major fires. Um, some, fortunately, we ended up with some good buildings afterwards, uh, maintaining their historic features on the outside. Uh, basically, it's just nice to see Port Hope stay the way it, it is that was based in the 1800s. Uh, our streetscape is great. We have a lot of uh, video uh, films being shot here. So the downtown's coping. Was there any other any business in town that really stands out in your mind as far as, you know, providing for the town? The our major employers have always been a blessing to provide good jobs for local people and skilled jobs. Uh, I, I still feel that there's a lot of individual small businesses that are have been key in this town to which Hank Variety is one, and, and Nesbitt's Men's Shop, and, and Ted Watts with the uh, Abattoir. It just, that's what Port Hope is, it's just a whole series and, and just slow evolution, one owner, one generation to the next. Basically what you're saying is the small guy was better than 
the big malls and things like that? Um, yes, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. I'm not a mall person. I there's something really nice about being able to go and into a store and it's one to one with the owner. You you know you purchase. You feel confident. It's it's good. It's good for the area because the downtown core pays property taxes to which all the homeowners benefit. And um, yeah, it's just, I feel it's better being in a downtown, like buying a car, uh, for example, like it's in the city, it's, a, it's an experience. Down here, it's just a nice, you know, they just look after you and it's done. Phil mentioned some stores that, that he remembered. Is there any other stores in the downtown that you know, you visited there that we were just, just talking about the Kono Phelps and the Santa Claus and all that stuff. Is there any? There's, there's a lot of, again, back to the, the small stores. There was um, Holman Sporting Goods, which was just a, a, a great little store, and you'd go in and he'd set you up, and every, everything was there. Um, Canadian Tire, back when Ken Schroeder had it, was a smaller store. It was, uh, you walk in and you get looked after. It was it was a pleasant experience. But other than that, no, there was just a whole series of over the years, stores coming, stores going and and good people. You see a lot of, like there's some stores that I can remember being in town, like Kennedy Vosrick used to be on Main Street and Joyce and Sweeners used to be on Ontario Street. Both of them have basically sort of moved to the outskirts of the town just to to stay in business. Yes, and, and it's been good for them because they've, they've expanded. There's two good family businesses. Uh, Sweeners have been around for years. It's an evolution. Um, Chuck Sweeners' son Paul is there, and now the, the, their grandson has just uh, joined the store. And Brian Vosberg, it was Kennedy Upholstery, and then Kennedy Vosberg. And Brian is the grandson of uh, Mr. Kennedy, and he's He's really be making that uh, store a, a cornerstone. And it's nice to see their trucks going up and down to this new subdivision, providing blinds and, and things of that nature. Where do you see Port Hope heading in the future? The growth is coming from the west, and I can see this area being slowly building from uh, people coming from the west and we've got to maintain the core uh, that's our like as Tim mentioned Niagara on the lake it's a really unique thing and I, I we have to build on it I think it's great there's a lot of good good people in this town and even the people are moving from the city a lot of them are retired but they they do have a lot to offer and they're very pro Port Hope so that's that's a positive feeling for moving forward. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you'd like to add? No, other than uh, it's a good place to live. <laughs> okay. Well, thanks, Peter. Thank you.